Oh boy, we are so back. Command and Conquer has returned to Steam in a big way, with the entire series now being available together for the first time ever. Ever since I started making videos on this channel, it's been a bit of a will they won't they kind of situation, with some games being available, others having been removed, and some just never having been there to begin with. For years, Origin had been the only place where you could get Command and Conquer digitally reliably, and well, stress no more because those days are over. The Command and Conquer Ultimate Collection is available now on Steam at a price of 20 US dollars, and it's currently 10 US dollars with a 50% discount. It's also cheaper if you own any of the games already from ones that were previously on Steam. This bundle includes every game in the series, from the beloved original to the maligned last entry, and from the underappreciated to my favourite of them all. So yes, that's every game and the expansions. Unfortunately, the remastered collection isn't included, but you could probably guess that, and there's also no Steam multiplayer or any kind of online revamp. It's just the original games as they were back in the day, with some added compatibility for modern systems. But if you want to play multiplayer, you will need to use something like CNC Net, Game Ranger, or just undertake an actual LAN party to play with your friends. That would have been incredible to see, but it's a lot of work to add Steam multiplayer, so eh, maybe one day, I hope. But regardless, it is pretty exciting on its own, finally giving people a great way to easily enjoy the classics on a platform that we actually want to use. But there's something else too, and that's the wording used in the update posted by Jim Vassella on the CNC community page on Steam. For the CNC Remastered fans out there, that name should sound familiar. Jim is the guy that broke the news of the initial Remastered project and gave us early insights into its development and had some pretty open lines of communication for players to give feedback throughout the process. And well, despite CNC Remastered releasing four years ago, Jim is still with EA and he's clearly still championing Command and Conquer based on this announcement post. And there are a couple of lines of particular wording that jumped out at me as being possible hints for the future. And that's these two, in the first remastered collection. And until next time. Alright, look, I get it, this is purely tinfoil hat level of speculation we're talking about here, and the second line could definitely be just a generic sign-off for a community that Jim has spoken with a lot over the years. But the first remastered collection? Why would you say that if there weren't others in the pipeline? Like it wasn't called the first world war until the second one had happened. If it was only ever the one remaster, why not just call it that? the remastered collection. You know what, I'm so confident in this that I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. If we don't hear about a second Command and Conquer game being remastered within the next 12 months, I'll eat an entire lemon on video and I'll give away 5 copies of whatever the hottest RTS game of the time is. You can hold me to that. So yeah, it's a bit of speculation, but I reckon there's some truth in it. And look, it's always fun to do that, but let's pull back from the abyss and consider what we have available now, today. Having the CNC Ultimate Collection available on Steam opens a wealth of options for playing a ton of different games. Maybe you're a younger gamer who has never played any of these absolute classics, and you want to experience them for the first time. Or maybe you've been around the block but want to relive some of the glory days without hassle or stress. Hey. Maybe you're like me, and you just want to have all the games in one place that isn't the dumpster fire that is Origin, or the EA app, or whatever it's called, Origin with a skin. And you've got to remember too, besides the core options, this release makes a ton of fantastic mods instantly more accessible. Things like Rise of the Reds or Shockwave for Generals, Tiberium Essence for Command and Conquer 3, and of course, Mental Omega for Red Alert 2. Looking over the Steam counts right now, it is really exciting to see Command & Conquer pulling the kind of numbers that it's getting. Over the past 24 hours we've had literally thousands of players across its different entries, with many of them still gaining traction 
and likely to set new peaks this weekend. Like look at some of these numbers man, Red Alert 2, 5,000 concurrent players, peaked 20 minutes ago from when I'm recording this, and still on the rise. General Zero Hour, 1,400 players. My darling Tiberian Sun, 500 concurrent players. Again, probably going to rise this weekend. Hell, even Command & Conquer 4 has 150 concurrent masochists right now, trying to figure out if it's as bad as they remember. Command & Conquer 3 and Kane's Wrath together have another 1500. This is so good to see, so what is that, like 10,000 people playing Command & Conquer right now? And that doesn't even count Origin and everyone playing not through Steam. That's some pretty good numbers, and I'll be very interested to see if this can stay relatively consistent even at half the numbers we're seeing now. It's clearer than ever that the children yearn for Command & Conquer. It really is beautiful to see. And if you want some more information on a lot of these games, then I have made videos on pretty much all of them and reviewed them over the years. I've also got some videos talking about specific mods for these games, so I've got one on Generals and one on Red Alert 3, so if you want to see what's out there, then go and give those a watch. There's also a ton of awesome communities for pretty much all of these games online. You'll be able to find a Discord server, or a YouTube channel, or something that has a lot of people who are interested in any of these games, so you can get in there and join the fun. So get in there commanders, crank up those player numbers, and let's make it as easy as possible for the accountants at EA to let Jim, Petroglyph, and whoever else bring Command & Conquer back into the spotlight. Hell. It's about time. Oh shit, wrong series.